In one of my other talks, I, I tell people how to heal traumas in their lives. Because most of these traumas happen when you're a child. And you create a program to protect yourself from further traumas. But that program is, has a child's mentality. The age that child was when he experienced that trauma. And children have you know, a skewed perspective of what actually happened. And so I get people to, when they're dealing with their traumas, when they find out what that trauma was, for a, a, bit of a lengthy process, but um, you find out what that trauma is, and you t talk to yourself. You teach yourself as a, um, as a child. So you, you give that child the adult perspective. So let's say it's um, sexual abuse, for instance. Right? So a child thinks, it's my fault, I was naughty. Yeah? So the adult perspective is, no, you were a victim. Okay? There, are, there are bad people out there, okay? and they prey on children, and you were a victim. Okay? So um, by teaching that child program, the child learns, and then it goes away. It naturally goes away. But here's the freaky bit, and this is the bit that's interesting. This is because all time and space is happening now in the fourth dimension. This idea of you imagining speaking to yourself as a, an eight-year-old or whatever is you, in the fourth dimension, actually speaking to yourself as an eight-year-old. Yeah. And you become that voice in that eight-year-old's head that says, don't do that, do this. No, no, it's all right, it's not your fault. So you heal yourself in the past which heals you in the present. Does that make sense? Yeah? yeah? So um, it's just a, a change of perspective on what we think is we're doing here. You know, we, we, we sort of brush off this idea of imagination, but it's a real thing. There are scientific studies that are happening right now suggesting that we actually do this. When we experience a memory of the past, that a part of us is actually traveling back to that moment in the past. And the reason this is so powerful is because the, exper the experiments now are strongly suggesting that from this moment in time, we can go back into our past when we have had trauma and that we can actually communicate with ourselves in the past to shift our experience of the trauma so that we're healing it in the present moment. Wow, if that isn't a mind blower, I don't know what is. Think about that. It means that if you are a child 50 years ago experiencing a traumatic event and you are feeling alone, if, if that child senses that there is an acceptance, that there's not a judgment, that the shame of that traumatic experience is being healed in that time, then there is a communication and a mutual healing. The child at that time is being helped as you've gone back into time and you are being helped because now the trauma of your earlier self doesn't have the same meaning to your adult self. Uh, tremendous studies being done around this. The point is it's all possible because of the holographic principle, because the field is holographic, because time is holographic.